hate you. Anyway, if you hear any disturbances to the side, it's my idiot friend Tim, who if he shows his face on my video again, I'm going to jack him in the jaw. Um, anyway, this is a conversation with Napalm Tube for the third fucking time because they keep interrupting my fucking video, Tim. Apologize. I didn't do shit. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Anyway. So this is a response to Napalm Tube. Um, he did exactly what I thought he would do and try to take the moral high ground and try to play the victim or whatever. Um, it was just exactly what I thought he would do, which is what all Christians do. Um, somehow he's trying to compare, he's trying to boil this whole argument down into it's just a disagreement on morals. No. No, 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 no. It's not a disagreement on morals. It's a disagreement about whether or not there is a mysterious father figure in the so sky who can read all of your thoughts. Okay? This is not an argument on morals. It's not the same fucking thing. Okay? Uh, you know, you could have the same argument about fairies, okay? And you could say you believe in fairies and somehow say it's an argument about the morals that fairies present and the morals that I present. It's not the same fucking thing, okay? Stop saying that. Don't say that. It's a lie. You, if you want to make an argument about whether or not the morals in the Bible are the right morals, that's a completely different situation. If you want, if you came out in the last video and said, "Hey, I believe in the morals in the Bible. I think, you know, through my personal experience, that these are the right morals." Fine, okay? We'd be having a completely different conversation. But you didn't say that. You said, "I believe in Christ. I believe in Christ's Church, the Holy Catholic Church." That is what you fucking said, verbatim. Okay? <clears throat> it's not the same thing. And you said that. Atheists cannot account for their morals. Yes, I can easily account for my morals. All the morals are just evolutionary constructs. There's a reason that we act polite to other people. There's a reason that we help people. There's a reason we don't steal and kill because it's beneficial to the species. Now, these feelings manifest themselves in a much more meaningful way because we're thinking creatures. We're sentient and, you know, they come out as like these great, you know, moral ideas. They're not, okay? They're evolutionary constructs. Society works better when I help out this guy and I don't steal from this dude and he doesn't kill me. Society works better. Evolutionary construct. I just accounted for the morals, okay? You claim no atheists can account for the morals. I just did it. It might piss you off that you're not part of some grand scheme where God gave you the morals. God didn't give you any morals, okay? Most of, I mean, God never said that you couldn't have slaves. Isn't that a moral value? I mean, that's something that we came up with on our own. Is it necessarily beneficial to the species to not have slaves? I don't know. Right? But God never said we couldn't have slaves. God never even really said anything against rape. It's interesting that in the Ten Commandments, he doesn't even say, you cannot rape people. Okay. But yes, I can easily account for my values. Evolutionary constructs that manifest themselves as something that seems more real because we're thinking creatures. That's all it is. I'm sorry to bust up your little fantasy worldview. That's what they are. Okay? This is not a cop-out. This is just the way it is. We're social animals. We're apes. We're great apes. We're great apes that live together in big-ass tribes. Okay? And it works for us to work together not kill each other and not take each other's shit. We don't need a big book in the sky to tell us that. Alright? So don't try to break this down into arguing, arguing over whose morals are better than the others. That's not what it is. The argument is, does God exist? Okay, that's the argument. And all the evidence points to, no, he does not. Okay, anything you can come up with, everything you said in that video was bullshit. You said that, you, you just said that you didn't say that atheists have no value. Yes, you did. You said... I didn't have any value when I was a, when I was an atheist. I don't see how any atheist can live their lives knowing that you know they don't have the value that's bestowed upon them by God. How else am I supposed to fucking take that? Am I supposed to take that as yes, everyone's a beautiful flower and this just worked for me? That's not what you said, okay? Don't change the issue afterwards. I watched the fucking video, all right? You feel that it was an attack on you and you're goddamn right because I'm not going to play that game with fucking Christians that are going to come up and make up bullshit and lie. And, and use emotional arguments to try to convince people to be Christians. It's bullshit. You're using this as a drug to alleviate your depression, and I feel sorry for you, but this is not the solution. I gave you options. You felt you didn't have meaning. I told you, maybe you should get a fucking hobby. Maybe you should start a charity. Maybe you should go help people in the inner city. You're not going to fucking do that, are you? No, because you alleviated all that guilt by becoming a Catholic. Congratulations, you found the cheat codes to life. You found the cheat codes to guilt. Congrats. 
I'm very happy for you, but don't come on our video, make up bullshit about what atheists believe, and tell us that our lives are meaningless and we don't have true moral values, and then come on and make a response where you say, no, I didn't say any of that, and you just misunderstood me. Fuck you. If you're going to do that shit, no one's going to be your friend. Anyone who is nice to you after that video you made is an asshole. Any atheist who comes up is like, I feel your pain is an asshole, okay? Fuck you. And yes, you're right. Um, I said there cannot be any camaraderie betwe between atheists and Christians. Uh, of course, that's only my view, but there cannot be any camaraderie between anti-theists, which I am, and Christians. And there will not be any because you people go on and say the stupid shit that you just said. All right? That's why there can be no camaraderie. That's why you people are a disease on mankind. You are killing us all. Fuck you. Quit lying. And don't misrepresent what I said. And don't misrepresent the argument. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you folks later.